Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. Okay, the first two cards I'm going to choose, the awareness for the week. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. And so in this Eight of Cups, we see the man walking away into the mountains and he's leaving behind eight full cups. So you always have to ask yourself, what is it that would make someone leave behind so much? And you know the answer to the question and, the, and it certainly can go to uh, having enough of a situation that doesn't suit you or satisfy you or bring you any happiness. That's when we often feel that we have to move on. This is a card of movement, of transition, of walking away. And walking away from what you have spent time in your life building. So you are hoping to find some peace or to find something else on this journey. The thing to think about is that perhaps this is just a temporary walk away where you are leaving a situation where you can think about things, get some space, rest, uh, meditate, you know, in solitude, whatever it may be, and, and you may decide to return. But more often than not, this is uh, um, leaving behind a situation that is not serving you or helping you. And you know when that day, what it feels like that this is it, I'm gonna make the move. I'm gonna just set my sights and just move on and start walking. So there's something, something that's making you feel that you need to move away from an existing situation. Could be relationship, a job that stinks, things going on with your family where maybe it's time to just um, live your own life. So a wonderful supportive card to have with this Eight of Cups is the Strength card, Major Arcana. And we see the woman here, uh, she's taming the, the lion. And he's looking up adoringly at her. And so there's a real message here of having strength and using your quiet determination to handle the adversity, to handle the uh, obstacles that come your way. We have a big heart, we have a strong heart, and we show strength through being kind and being gentle and compassionate instead of brute force or trying to dominate someone. And so uh, this, the message of strength is that you have all the inner strength that you would need to handle really anything. And you have to have faith in yourself and faith in your abilities to, to lend your own control to the situation. So as you are walking away, you have the strength to face it and to handle it. So now I'm gonna choose, I've, got, I've chosen two cards for guidance. We have the Two of Wands. And again, the Two of Wands, twos often deal with our decisions. And we see the man here looking at the horizon, the mountains and the water, holding the globe in his hands. He has control over what he's going to do next. And he's thinking about what is my next path? Where am I headed? You know, what's my next journey? And here are the two wands. And we're looking through, uh, walking through these wands again to this um, new place, new life, new area, new relationship, but you are in the early stages of manifesting. And you may be evaluating and thinking about, if I do this move, then what am I leaving behind? So you or, may have already made this decision with, I'm moving it out, and I'm gonna do something to satisfy my life and to bring happiness within my life could be leaving a relationship, it could be leaving a dead-end job or a soul-crushing job. 
So he's thinking about what he's going to create. So then we have the King of Pentacles, and in terms of guidance or counsel, the King of Pentacles is a wonderful energy or asset to have because this king is successful. He's capable of doing many things well, particularly when it comes to money and to resources like your time and your energy or your investments. He enjoys living in comfort and he's working hard and has worked hard to accomplish this with focus, dedication, and a simple, straightforward, pragmatic approach. So the message to you, Sagittarius, is as you are manifesting what you're going to do next, as you're creating that path, and yeah, the path may be bumpy, but you have enough strength to deal with it. You are walking away, but you do have to use some sense of common sense for your own life. What's going to work best for you? You know yourself best. And so if you're working things out with a plan, making a plan to kind of say, well, this is how much money I have that I can live on for these few weeks, or, you know, within six months, I'm going to be in this state or to have this type of job. The King of Pentacles would be researching and laying it all down in writing probably or a spreadsheet or something and would be checking off the items off the list to get to the, the end goal or the task or the desire. So now let's see possible outcomes. Possible outcomes. Wow. Okay. The moon. Major Arcana. And the moon is about uncertainty and it's about perhaps our own fears or our own anxiety because we're really not sure of the way. We're not sure how to get through to these towers. And sometimes we get a little um, uh, confused of the path when we're, when we're relying on the moon and in the darkness of the moon. So this is a sense of listen to your intuition. Listen to what's below the surface. You have a lot of information in your subconscious of what's happening. And you're going to have to, you know, face whatever it is deep inside. Is fear holding you back? Are there secrets that you're keeping down or that are being kept from you? So this is a, it's a, really a card of uncertainty, perhaps of doubt, self-doubt. And then we have the tower, major arcana. People falling out of the tower, the lightning striking the tower, the flames. And this is a chance for transformation, for rebirth, and for restructuring. Like a phoenix out of the flames. Here you come through leaving behind a situation of having a lot of determination and courage and heart to deal with the hard times. In your head, you've had this plan that you've been hoping to put into place and you have been working the plan. You may feel this sense of doubt, but this is going to, you know, your current routine is going to be disrupted and it's going to change. And this is a, this can be a card of dramatic change, unexpected change, shock and awe. Or it could be, you know what, in the back of my mind, in my subconscious, I knew that this is coming. I didn't really know when or where, but I knew that this is going to, this is going to occur. So believe it or not, I feel that this is very positive because I feel that this is clearing away something that just has not worked for you. There's a very clear message here that you are doing what you have to do to clear out the part of your life that is not fulfilling you. And when you are able to level it, level the, the building, boom, then you are able to rebuild 
and to put in a stronger foundation and build just the right home or the tower that's going to work best for you. So big ideas here of strength, maybe some self-doubt, concern, uncertainty, and yet the change is going to come and you will be strong enough. It's certainly been on your mind. You may have made some preliminary moves, but it, change is going to come. And so let's get a little more information uh, from the Oracle cards. And this will be a meditation point or practice area for the week. Hope is the conduit for miracles. So again, it goes to your hope, the hope for your future, the hope for happiness and peacefulness and harmony and success. And so, uh, you know, if, if you don't have hope, then that circuit is broken. And so you have to start really with the hope that's in your heart. And then anything is possible from that. So now let's choose a card for uh, spiritual self or emotional self. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? So as you're on your contemplative journey, it will be important for you to think about yourself and to really put your priorities first. And again, anxieties, we talked about anxieties. They can be overwhelming. Changes can be overwhelming. The tower can produce anxiety in addition to great change. And finally, let's choose a card for love and let's see what the message is. Self-love. You realize that, the, that love of self is necessary to love another. And this message is certainly supported by the strength card of having faith and being kind and considerate, in addition to being uh, kind and considerate to yourself, building your self-love to build more confidence and to build more hope in a future, in moving toward a new future. So Sagittarius, this is what I have for you for the week and uh, a very interesting spread. So I hope that you have a wonderful week and um, I wish you the very best. If you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe, like, share, or comment and join me next week for another reading. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.